Each of the 450 pupils in this school in Bugesera really does have a laptop for class. Not all of those are new. Many are recycled. All the models which break down get repaired. We can say it is a good, it is necessary to use it because it helps us to expand our knowledge. The whole country is committed to recycling. Damaged and discarded electronic devices in hospitals, schools, government offices and companies are picked up by employees of Envirosav, an international recycling company. The hardware is taken to Envirosav's plant in Bugesera, 60 kilometers from the capital Kigali. Here, it's recycled and restored. It's one of the biggest plants of this kind in all of Africa. We want to have um, the whole system a proper system for electronic waste management established in Rwanda. That's, that's our, main, um, our main target. And we want Rwanda to be a model for, for other countries. Um, not so many countries have um, this kind of facility. Envirocell's business model is to sell the refurbished equipment. More than 50 people who work here. Ever since I started working with Envirosov, collecting e-waste, I've been able to support my family, pay their health insurance, and had no problem paying for my children's education. Rwanda is seen as the IT innovation hub in East Africa. That's why this sector is attractive to the younger generation. It attracts people like 32-year-old Eric Nshimiyamana. He left school early but began collecting electronic waste when he was 17. Now he has his own company employing 35 people. We buy these electronics from different places and from people who don't need it yet. But for us, these electronics are valuable. After collection, we sort the electronic equipment to separate the ones which can be reused and resold after being repaired. The government wants to make sure the countryside doesn't get clogged up with abandoned e-waste, so it has imposed strict regulation. As Rwanda is set up to be a hub of uh, technology, we want to see this developing in a sustainable way with clean and health and environmental friendly technology because we want to see our countries developing but with the minimum impact in terms of environmental consequences. Back at school, the laptops are given to pupils for free. Since we have started using computers, uh, uh, many things have changed. Uh, students have started knowing that the source of information is, an, is not only the, the library. They can no longer imagine life without them. And they know these laptops won't go to waste, but will be recycled so most students can benefit too.